If your machine has old grease on the gears, they should be cleaned first using kerosene with a gear and lint cleaning brush, or an old toothbrush works too. We put kerosene in the same style bottles as our sewing machine oil so that you can direct the kerosene precisely on the point that is to be cleaned. You may order these long spouted empty bottles on our website as well. Both the top and bottom gears should be cleaned at the same time. Therefore, it would be necessary to remove the spool pin cover plate and the drip pan. I recommend placing the machine on a piece of cardboard to catch and absorb the drips from the kerosene and dirty residue that flows while cleaning. Once the gears are clean, the new lubricant can be added by putting a bead of lubricant on the gears and then slowly turning the hand wheel. This will distribute the lubricant to the corresponding gear. We do not recommend using fibrous paper cloths or cotton swabs to clean the excess away because it will introduce lint and foreign fibers into the gears. Instead, after turning the hand wheel a couple of times manually, use your finger to wipe off any excess lubricant. Although the excess lube will not hurt anything, it leaves a mess inside your machine. To lubricate the motor, it may be necessary to first remove old lubricant that is clogging the ports. Gently insert the hollow port cleaning tool, which is included. This will dislodge any old lubricant, making room for new lubricant. Remove the cap from the lubricant and insert the tip of the applicator into each of the motor ports. You can see from our cutaway motor that the area to house the new lubricant is not large and a little lubricant goes a long way. Depress the plunger gently and fill up the port, simultaneously pulling the applicator out as you fill it. Use your finger to wipe away any excess, and then repeat this process for the other motor port. Singer originally recommended lubricating the motor about every six months, and the gears occasionally as needed. This is the Singer Featherweight Shop's recommendation as well. When you are finished lubricating the gears and or motor, it may be necessary to pull slightly back on the plunger so that the lubricant is no longer under pressure. Then you can replace the cap to the tip and store it without leaking. Although this lubricant was developed for us specifically for the featherweight, it can be used on the gears of any sewing machine with all metal gears, but should not be used on plastic or nylon gear systems. If you own a quilt store or a featherweight business and are interested in carrying this product, please feel free to contact us directly for wholesale inquiries. As always, we look forward to keeping these featherweight machines working long into the future and are here to help and offer featherweight service and technical support anytime. Feel free to give us a call.